We all know firefighting is a dangerous job. It takes courage to run into a burning building, but there's a hidden danger that's taking firefighters' lives, and it's following them back to the firehouse. What's up? My name is Joe Moneman. I've been with the fire service for 23 years. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer when I was 45 years old. My name is Joe Gunnewick. I was with the fire service for 27 years. I was diagnosed with kidney cancer when I was 53 years old. Hi, I'm Jack Klosterman. I've been in the fire service for 34 years. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer at the age of 51. Hazardous chemicals from a fire remain in the air, on firefighter skin, and on their equipment even after the fire is out. These chemicals cause serious health problems that many firefighters are not aware of. It was a badge of courage to have a dirty helmet um, to prove you had been in all these fires and how you approached fires, the gear that you would wear, whether or not you'd put a mask on. When I first came on, some of the old timers were like, oh, come on, kid, you know, you got to be tougher than that. And when you look back on it, you know, yeah, I could be tougher than that. I could do a lot of tough things. I could do a lot of dumb things, too. Like Joe and Jack said, there's, we all went into fires. We used to run into fires if it was a small one room fire or a kitchen fire, you, you, you run in there without your mask on because that was the quickest way to get there. It was You wanted to be the first guy on the, at the scene, you wanted to be the first guy, you wanted to be the guy, the guy with the nozzle to put the fire out, that's where all the glory is. So you, you go as fast as you can, you don't wear your mask, you get in, you put it out, and then if you start getting choked up, you put your mask on and then you know, finish the firefighting and, and get out. And Jack was saying he wore his mask on overhaul, I was one of the first guys to take off my mask at overhaul because I can suck the smoke, I'm, I'm cool, you know? And that's how I felt, and I wish I wasn't so cool. New guys coming on today want to ask themselves, is, you know, how inconvenient is it for me to wear my HEPA mask, keep my air on? You know, when I got cancer, the book says you have probably 12 months to live. Think that's inconvenient? or is it a little less inconvenient to put on your mask? And when you walk out that door, walk out thinking that I've got 12 years or I've got 20 years to enjoy it. There's no inconvenience big enough to make you go through this. Firefighters can take three simple precautions to help save their lives. Wear your air, wash yourself, wash your gear. Save a firefighter's life by sharing this video.